<laughs> I hated it. Oh, the movie's fucking bullshit. And, and, and for, we... It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. Roadhouse. <laughs> Dude, I'm Roadhouse 2024. 2024. Definitely not 1989. I'm like really agitated after watching this movie. Uh, first of all, <laughs> we must proclaim our love for the original. Yeah, I'm a super fan of the original. Same. And like I've told you this story before, but I didn't see the original when I was younger. I saw it later on in life, mm -hmm. like mid thirties. <laughs> Sat down and watched it. My, life, wrong was, you my were. life was changed, man. <laughs> like it, that movie is so phenomenal. I recommended it to my brother, and he watched it. and He called me up. and He's like, "Dude, that movie's fucking awesome." And I'm yeah. like, "Yeah." And now let's clarify here. Yeah. It's not phenomenal because it's some kind of high art. Opinions vary. We're fully aware yes, that we're... it's not some <laughs> cinematic milestone. Correct. But the movie it... excels <laughs> at just 80s trash, cheese, B-movie fun. It is the pinnacle of that. Now, there are four movies that you must watch in order to cross into manhood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And all four of these movies you must like. Mm. If you don't, then you are a beta cuck and you need to turn in your man card on your way out the door. Beta! Those movies are Tombstone, Predator, Rocky IV, and Roadhouse. Mm, I agree with that. So this, <clears throat> the uh, reimagining, uh. as they're calling it, is similar to the original, pretty much in name only. Yeah. In title and main character name. The name is Dollar. There are a couple plot beats that are similar. Yes, but... and there's no shortage of Easter eggs in this movie, nods and throwbacks to the original that make you think, Oh yeah, I'd rather be watching that. And it also makes you think, fuck you for doing that. Yeah, like, right? why are you bringing up that great movie in this piece of shit? <laughs> Everyone involved in this film should be embarrassed. You have such a slam dunk, simple concept, and you think like, okay, this is gonna be a walk in the park if you have a decent team behind it. Jake Gyllenhaal's great. Yeah. Doug Liman on a good day makes a good film. On a you good know, day. He's hit or miss. Oh, really? And it was like everybody dropped the ball. I mean, to be fair, it was dead on arrival. Like, there was no way this was going to be as good. <laughs> and you know as what? The, the original. I remember when the trailer first dropped. People were like, "Well, okay, you know, maybe you know, you know." No, some it people like were shit. talking. Yeah, I yes, obviously it looked like shit. But there were rumblings. People were like, "Well, well, let's give it a chance." And there was a whole uh, thing where Amazon had acquired the film, and it was supposed to go originally to the theaters, but then we're just going to put it on our streaming platform instead. And Doug Liman like lost his shit. He was like, "I'm not going to the premiere," but of course he ended up going anyway. Amazon was correct. This movie has streaming written all over this it. This movie does not belong in theaters. No, this movie. It is streaming at best. Exactly right. Some of the filmmaking technique, amateur. Like it just was shit. I don't know what it is, but it's like every movie feels like it's got to compete with one another. And oh, this movie's got CGI in it. So we have to have Roadhouse have CGI in it. Like the fight scenes looked fucking shitty. They're Dude, fake. From the opening scene, when you got that little underground bare knuckle fight. With Post Malone. With Post Malone randomly. Something's off about yeah. this. Like yeah. they're throwing punches. I couldn't put my finger on it. They looked plasticky or yeah. they looked composited in so they did this and, thing where they would film the fight scene and then like they would also have like a cg double over them and they would randomly kind of morph into that so you would see the characters actually making contact because yeah. they thought that it was really important to because, show because you know we haven't been able to do proper fight choreography in in film up to this point so let's reinvent the wheel yeah. for no reason so they they thought they were being fucking cool but it just looks like this weird shitty uncanny valley it video looks game fake. you can't put your thumb on it but you know something's wrong yeah you know and especially it, it and then like, like the camera you know you think like okay we're going to stay wide we're not going to cut we're just going to follow the action and some films do that really well yeah like the john wick films this did not this felt like did you ever see hardcore henry yeah i know what you i know what you mean yeah, you know what i mean like yeah. it, it's it's like that you're trying to bridge real with cgi without cutting yeah and it just feels like you could feel and where it switches yes, over with a touch of like motion stabilization yeah there would be a shot somewhere else and they would do some weird like morph cut thing and then suddenly like the shot composition would totally change but they tried making it look like it was all done in one take yeah the result is just this weird like you know something's wrong with the image yeah it, it takes you well, right out of it how do you <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> how you can have a film that's like, should be like very mid-tier budget, and it's all about fight choreography. 
and All stunts. you have to do is just some kick-ass stunts, some kick-ass fight work, and you've got a halfway decent film already. Yeah, make it super violent. <laughs> That's it. You know, so have some and practical instead, gore they're like, effects. No, 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 we're going to try this weird, stupid new technique. It was driving me nuts while I was watching this movie. Yeah. The script itself felt like a first draft. It yeah. felt like, okay, let's just put some temp dialogue in here. And they just stuck with it the whole film. Oh, haha. -ha. It was just all around terrible. It had none of the charm or fun of the original. It's got no heart. No, this movie is not fun. <laughs> and like the, what was so awesome about the original was Patrick Swayze, man. Like the way he portrays Dalton, he's like, he plays him he's like a philosopher. <laughs> okay. He's cool in a way that he's kind of like greaser cool, like 1950s cool. Like, yeah, you don't want to fuck with him. Like Gyllenhaal comes off as tough, but he doesn't come off as cool. He's tough because he knows how to fight. Yeah, but in it. terms of and his personality, it. this is the problem with the movie. And this might go with our kind of a rainbow ratings, but I think that a lot of a lot of movies have issues nowadays with yeah. the stoic male. Yes. And that's what Patrick Swayze was. He was like the classic stoic male lead character. Jake Gyllenhaal, not stoic whatsoever. He just kind of shows up and he's like, Hey guys, he's just like talking to everyone yeah, and shit. Yeah, he's kind of like this nice guy, but if you didn't know he could fight really well, you'd just think he was some average slug. Yeah, just some dude. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Smiley. And it's weird. It's weird to make that your Dalton character, well, not considering like, that, w like what it's based off I of. Was, I was very confused at what they were trying to do with him. Like, again, the original, until the end, Patrick Swayze, after he rips the guy's throat out and he snaps, <laughs> he's, he's very calm, collected, and does, doesn't suffer from depression. <laughs> But in this yeah, one, right. doesn't fucking, try to kill himself Jake in front Jonah's of a train. Like, like suicidal and shit. <laughs> and he's like fucking homeless. Yeah. It's like, what's going on? What are they doing with Dalton? This isn't working out, Dalton. This is where things like really differ from the original. So like it starts off, like you said, he's just this like down and out dude. And you find out he's like an ex UFC fighter. It kind of plays similar to the original where this owner of a roadhouse shows up and it's this chick in the new one and she's like, oh, I, I got some riffraff I need cleaned out of my bar. I'll pay you good money to come, you know, clean it up. And he's like, no, I'm good. And then he has this like little bout where he like tries to kill himself. Yeah. He like decides like, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. But okay. And then he goes down to the bar. So it's, it's really hard not to compare things to the original, but we're going to have to. In the original, what was another aspect of Dalton that was cool was he was in this game of being a, a bouncer at a bar and he was like a fucking legend amongst bar yeah, owners. He would go to like shitty bars and he would clean them up. And once they were good, he would move on. Yes, he had this yeah, legendary would, status yeah. with all the bar owners in, in America, like everyone basically. Knew everyone knew who he was, you know? This one, he's just an ex-UFC fighter. He's never done no, this. He he's nothing. never been a cooler. He doesn't know anything nothing. about being a cooler or a bouncer. Yeah. Yet and she hires him and he shows up. Like, well, she hires him just because, like, oh, you used to be in UFC. Oh, this, you're tough. You, you can fight tough. people, right? Yeah. But then that's all it comes down to. Like, Swayze Dalton, he's got the knowledge of being in the business. Like, he knows how to handle shit. Yeah, like so when he walks into a bar and sees that it's like a piece of shit, he knows exactly like what's wrong with it. Like he's he's you, you watch him go into the to the double deuce for the first time, <laughs> yeah. and he's just like he's just observing. He's observing. He's taking it all in. Yeah, you know. And this movie, and then, like like Gyllenhaal does that. In this. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say but this movie like, tries to do that. But you don't do have that. the experience to yes. know how to clean a place up exactly. like this. Exactly. So you're you just like, your first instinct is like. Well, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of these guys, but then he just knows, like, oh, I'll, I'll take them outside, which he does in that opening fight where he leads all those biker guys outside, and then he like slaps the shit out of them. But then like they add that shit in where it's like, oh, I'm gonna take you all to the hospital now, which <sighs> like lends to his backstory, which you like learn throughout the film of like why he's like a disgraced UFC fighter. We'll get to that. Yeah. I, I want to unpack his character a little further. Yeah, of course, but, yeah. you know, in terms of the plot, like, he goes to the bar and he starts cleaning it up. He starts taking the younger guys, like, under his wing, teaching them how to fight, get guys out of the bar. And so, like, kind of like what Dalton was doing in the original. The, the original does such a good job at illustrating all that. And this yeah. one, when Dalton sits down and doesn't do anything, it feels like he's just, like... He's just there, he's like, just like, chilling. He doesn't like, want to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, where in the original, it's like, all right, well, he's trained these guys. These guys know their shit now. Mm -hmm. You know, now now Dalton could just, like, be kind of a shadow in the background. Yeah, and you see him, like, come in, and he has that scene, of course, where he's, like, he's, like sitting on the railing, and he's, like, smoking, and he's a badass, and he cleans house. He's like, nope, you're dealing 
drugs, you're out. You, you don't have the right temperament. Fucking out of here, Mr. Barber College, Mr. Terry Funk. What the fuck are you talking about? It's great. Like, yeah. you understand, like, why he's the guy he is. Yes, well, in this one, they couldn't have their version of that scene because he's never fucking been a cooler before. Right. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about doing it. This is when we get introduced now to our Brad Wesley character, who is uh, whose name is Ben Brandt in this one, played by uh, Mr. Billy Magnuson, who I like as an actor, but... He's fine, the, the, but... But the, it's just, here we go, here's another unhinged dude who's nothing like his counterpart from the original. Ben Gazzara in the original is like amazing in that role. Yeah. He's charming and he's menacing. They introduce this guy like on a boat that's going through the ocean while he's getting a straight razor shave yeah. for no reason. No reason whatsoever. Like the guy, he he's on a boat, this guy's like giving him a shave and it's like you feel scared for the guy because if he cuts him then like the, he's gonna kill him or something. Yeah, it reminded me of like The Untouchables when De Niro's getting shaved and he nicks him and he's like, Ugh. and then he's like, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. You know, like you could see like bubbling under the surface. There's yeah. something like yeah. that's going to come out. This, he's like, no, oh, come on, come on. Keep it's it like, loose. It's keep like, it loose. What the keep fuck loose. do you expect is going to happen, right. you moron? Right. And then, of course, after he gets cut for the third time, he like snaps and he goes up and just punches the captain. When it wasn't even the captain's the fault, there's like a fucking like semi storm going on, creating <laughs> like, waves it's, and shit. It's, it's so stupid. It's like, okay, so here's your unhinged villain who's the son of someone important. Which they never Which pay we that never, off. we never get to meet that guy. Yeah, you hear him on the phone once and you're like, oh shit, who's this oh guy gonna God. be? Yeah, yeah. So his whole thing is like, they're, they're trying to keep it under wraps. Like, he wants to take over the roadhouse because of course he's building some like massive... J.C. Penny. J.C. Penny is coming here because of me. He's building some like resort that happens to be like right next to where the roadhouse is. And he wants to, you know, take the property, demolish it, and then be done with that with that place. And of course, she's like the last holdout. So that's like his whole angle. So he's just trying to send ruffians in to like, fuck the place up so no one will go there and she'll eventually sell. Yeah. You know, and then you finally get like the real threat comes in an hour in yeah. when they bring in the only dude having fun in this movie, Conor McGregor. Right, and he and he sucks, but at the same time, he's like you great, said. He's great, but you, compared to everyone else, yeah, like, he's okay, fun there, to watch. There's some, there's some energy now, like there, there's enjoyment. There's like the cheese factor there yeah, now. Yeah, yes. He would have fit in well in the original. Yes. Like he shows up, he's just like naked walking around. Like he's yeah. walking around like he's like, he's built like an action figure. Yeah. <laughs> well, he just, walks like, yeah, he's, he's just like, his arms out. Yeah. And his legs bowed out. Yeah. He's ridiculous. He's so over the top. When he shows up, he's the perfect villain. He's just smiling. Yeah. And he's that type of unhinged villain who works great as like a henchman. He's like the Jimmy character. Yeah. From, that's, you know. that's what it, and he really does feel like almost like he's from the original. Yeah. He got the tone perfect. He got the tone right. Yeah. No one else got the tone right. No. Everyone else was like either taking it too serious or too laid back. Mm -hmm. Like they just couldn't decide like which way they were going with this movie. In the bar, they've got a different band playing every night. Yeah. And it's like, if this place is such a slaughterhouse, like how are you booking fresh bands and every if, yeah, single night? And if you're the kind of bar where you're able to book those kinds of bands, I'm sorry, but you're going to have like law enforcement helping you out. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it was just fucking stupid. Right. Or like you're going to have security. That's, yeah, you know? exactly. It was so stupid. But yeah, like part of the original, when they've got the band there, the band's like a character in the film. Yes. Jeff Healy is a character in the movie. Yes. He's, he knows Dalton. Yeah, exactly. And then you see like as the movie goes on, as the place gets better and better, like the cage comes down. This, this like, doesn't do that. There's no, no progression. No. And like, you, you see like the first band and it's like the chick singing and you're like, okay, well maybe he's going to talk to her and there's, there's, this band's going to be, nope, they're just gone. And then the next band comes in yeah. and then like, they're like, I hope you guys like some church music. And then they start singing and they're like, what the fuck is this? Nope, they're gone. And then the next band comes in, totally different vibe. They're more of like the blues vibe. And then you got like the Caribbean vibe, you got the, the, the reggae vibe. It's like, it kept changing. It did. Like, well, and the, and the other thing, it's like, in the original, the bar starts out looking like shit, the cage is up, all the stuff, but then yeah. as, as Dalton cleans house, the bar starts looking better. You know, they start, yeah. they, they give it a paint job. There's like neon signs and yes, stuff. Yes, they, like, they put up a new sign, like yes. the double do sign. Exactly, they get rid of the, the cage, like all of that. Like there's like this, a visual progression that things have gotten yeah. better. This bar looks exactly the same in the Once beginning as it does in. in the end. Exactly. Fuck. <laughs> 
Dude, it was so painful. Oh, it was, man. Dude, it just, it I, just I, was not fun. Like, it's just, he, okay. He's, he's, Jake Gyllenhaal, I usually like him a lot. I know that, like, I, I didn't like him in this movie. Like, it's it's not entirely his fault. It's No, it's, it was it's, a shit it's a, script. It's a script level. Like, it's fucking terrible. Like, the script doesn't, again, original's not high art, but it, it understood itself. That no, being he's, said, he's though, always got a good screen presence, but this, yeah. it's like, they just didn't give him much to work with. Uh, he kind of has a turn where he... <laughs> Yeah, he almost turns he into full fucking Patrick Bateman. He almost turns into a fucking Nightcrawler character. Yeah, yeah. you know, if, if Nightcrawler got jacked. Yeah, like, once he gets pushed to that breaking point, he goes all calm, and then he shows up at uh, at the bad guy's house and like kills that dude, like he breaks just, like, his trachea. Just murdering people. He just, but like he murdering him... people in like a very premeditated way, not like the way Dalton kind of snaps when Wade dies. No, 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 yeah, like it's, in the first one. Yes, in the original, it's premeditated, and then then he puts their bodies in, in like ice a freezer. In a freezer. <laughs> He's dragging their bodies he, around. He goes to the store to pick up like all these ice bags. He, he's just doing it with like a fucking he, psycho. He drags smirk that on his one face. guy onto the beach and then takes that cop's gun and like puts like six rounds in his chest, like like he's done this before. Yeah. And then, and then the cops like, "What are you fucking nuts?" And he's like, "Yeah, well, you know, they might believe you did it. Uh, maybe I'll give you a concussion, and you know, you'll lose your short term memory and like cracks this guy in the head." That was such a weird tone shift for his character. And you could say like, okay, yeah, in the original, like, you know, Dalton kind of fucking snaps. And like, he's got that backstory where he, you know, he killed somebody, you but know. But he has the backstory though. Yeah, well, like, yeah, yeah, so that backstory where he kills someone is because this guy pulled a gun on him because like, he was sleeping with that guy's girl. Like, they, like, they justified it. Sure. This, like, they have this whole thing where he's like having these dreams, like thinking about that last UFC fight. Yeah, and each time and you see the, they don't show the whole fight. No, they keep showing progressions yeah. of it. And then it finally gets to the point where Billy Magnuson shows up and he's like, oh yeah, like I found the video. Look at this, look, look at you. He was your friend. He was your friend. He kept saying like he was your friend and you, you, you just went nuts and you killed him. You just didn't stop and like gets in his head to make him like want to quit. Yeah. And you're thinking like, oh shit, like what could have driven him to this to rage out and kill his, well, his friend? And, and then like, you, th you know, they, they almost build it up like it's going to be a, a cool, like a reveal like an interesting or something. way that he kills him too. But no, he just punches him. No, he just punches him multiple times because he just gets upset because he's in a fight. Yeah, that's it. Like you think you're going to see like in the flashback, like his, his buddies got him up against the, the cage and he's like, oh, I fucked your wife last night. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you know, some like, sort of motivation. Any, yeah. any kind of motivation for yeah. him to snap. Okay. There's just no payoff to it. No, there's none. And then we have our Kelly Lynch character, the uh, nurse, the doctor. I don't know what she was. There's this like thing with modern movies now where you're not allowed to show like attractive women and men being attracted to women and yeah. vice versa. Mm -hmm. Like there's no women in this movie who you're just like, damn, okay, she's a looker. And Dalton's like, ooh, yeah, like, I'm, all, I'm into that. This, yeah, it, that, it, that's part of the appeal of the original, by the way. Tits and ass uh, all over the place. All over the freaking movie. That's, yeah, the original is like one of those movies where you you were like a kid and you'd catch late at night and you'd see all these titties and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and you were like, right? yeah. yeah. We're like one of the badgers, like he's in the back room banging one of the, <laughs> exactly. and he opens the door and he's like, I'm on my break. Yeah, there's, and there's none of that stuff Stay in there. on it. Yeah, exactly, you know? And none then you get like, when, yeah. they, when they first show Wade Garrett, they cut to, he's like at a strip club and you see the girls like dancing and stuff <laughs> exactly. and like the, the marine tries to go up there and he's like hey you gotta save yeah. the world from down here yeah like there's none of that none none of that and then when you know like when when swayze pursues uh uh kelly lynch he's making the moves on her and oh, she's yeah, yeah. and she's falling for him yeah not only can they not be attracted to each other the guy cannot do any no, he can't advancement be the pursuer. he cannot pursue she pursues him in she, this. yeah and then at one point like sh she takes him out on a boat and they go to like this weird exotic <laughs> they go like, to a sandbar a sandbar <laughs> and, and he's like he's like wait a minute he, he's like he's seriously like I, I think i better go i didn't know this was a date yeah. <laughs> she's like don't tell me what to do and then she like kisses him and he's like oh, yeah, she makes the I mean, first fucking move and like, yeah what the fuck he, is and going he's like on? his fucking breath is taken away <laughs> she kisses him and he's like oh. <laughs> right and in that particular scene she's looking very like dirty and like not attractive yeah dressed uh, she, she's the body of like a fucking 14 year old boy yes. and, like, and she's like her hair's up and it's all like like gross and shit like she's just she doesn't look good and she's like a pretty girl in real no, life, like, but they don't know, do like, anything. She's got like nice eyes yes. and shit. And, like when her hair is like wet and slicked back, she looks better. They don't do anything but, like, in the movie that to like sexualize her because you can't do that. <laughs> we can't give him a reason to be attracted yeah, to her outside of her all mind. The, all the guys <laughs> watching the movie, you can't have them go, oh man, she's fucking hot. No, you can't do that. No. Okay. And then like, okay, fucking, you, you, this is like Florida. You're at the beach. 
Where are the girls in bikinis and shit? They'd be all nothing, over the place. Right? It's like, where are the women? Yeah, it's so fucking prudish and annoying. I mean, do you remember like in like in Commando, there's the part where he's fighting Bill Duke. Like, <laughs> they just like they're in like that motel room and like he kicks him and like they go through the door and there's just that that couple banging in the next room and that girl's like, oh this is just something like pointless like tits and stuff in yeah. movies and it was just hilarious. No, you can't do that anymore. You can't. What the fuck? And you see this reimagining for the modern audience is trash. Yeah, I'm so, like I hate people say like oh movies are more sexual than ever. No, they're not. No, not really. They're they're not. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it so much. Oh, the movie's fucking bullshit. And, and, and f there's no Wade Garrett. You have Sam Elliott in the original who's fucking just as cool, if not cooler, than Dalton. Yeah. He's just older. Yeah, and that voice. If you had just kept that the same, where Dalton had this, like, mentor character who's got to call because he needs help, it's okay, like... Okay. Well, he could have still been... It, he could have still had his UFC background. He could have still had oh, all yeah, that. Yeah, he could have had, like, a UFC guy who's been through it, who's older, whatever, and then you could have brought in, like, an older actor who's cool. I whatever. don't care yeah, who, yeah, whatever, who, yeah. whoever it is. Yeah. Like, someone with some name recognition who's, like, the, the old guard who could tussle a little bit and then, you know, raise the stakes and put him in peril. Who dies in this that is on... The right side of things. Yeah. Nobody. That, that's not like if you were to, if one were to argue like, oh, Patrick Swayze loses his shit at the end, his fucking friend gets killed. He goes into the bar and finds a knife sticking out of his mentor's chest. Yeah, we don't have any of those moments in there to push Dalton over the edge. Right, in this it's like, oh, the bookshop gets torched, but they're fine. They, they don't die. And we don't even see that in this, too. It's no. so fucking weird. The girl and her father, it's like, oh, yeah, they're, they're fine. They're just at the hospital. And Dalton's like... Okay, guess it's time to go full Bateman, full Patrick Bateman, and just start killing people. It's not the same yeah. as Wade Garrett with a knife sticking out of his chest. <laughs> I, I, I made more notes on this. Oh, God. There's just so many things. But I know this this, this review would be too long if, if, if I talk about every... Everything I want to talk about at the end of the of the original you have like all the town people kind of come together and like kill Ben Gazzara Yeah, because they're taking the town back. Yeah, I mean that's a and little half-assed in the original But it is, it's there it though. It is half-assed, yes. but you do see more of how Ben Gazzara has like a grasp on this town yes. and people are afraid of him yeah. in this like they just talk about it in this one and then at the end Magnuson just gets his neck broken by Conor McGregor and then he just beats Conor McGregor, and then the sheriff shows up like, I got your back, get out of here. Yeah. It's like it doesn't feel the same, like the, the, it doesn't, like the payoff is just not there. Yeah. This should be a, a bigger victory for like <laughs> plus, the whole key. Plus it should like, be the whole key who's like, yes, this guy's fucking it, gone. Like it, His fucking DNA is all over the place too. <laughs> it's, it's There's so many dead people. It's so stupid. You can't get away with shit like that anymore. It's fucking 2024. Right. If they had made a sequel to the 1989 classic Roadhouse. They did. <laughs> I know, but if they made one with, I know, if they made real, one with, it's a real sequel. Yeah. If they made one with Patrick Swayze, though, yeah. like three years later, I could see them setting it in the Florida Keys or something like right. that. Yeah. That's he where just, this one would he, take he place. He goes to the next place. Yeah, exactly. And that could have been an interesting switch up in terms of location. This just felt like everybody should be drinking rum on the beach and chilling and having a good time. Yes. Like it just didn't feel like that same vibe that you get from the original. And that's really what it, what it all comes down to. It's like what we were talking about in our Top Gun face-off. <laughs> yeah. The, the original Top Gun, it's a vibe, you know? It is and a vibe. so is except, fucking... Except the new one continued the tradition of that in a fantastic way. Sure. But, but update it. Yes, exactly. Whereas the original Roadhouse is definitely a vibe. And like, it's like <laughs> such a good one. Yeah. And this does not capture None of Any it. of that. None of it. Like literally none of no, it. No, this is a totally neutered version. This movie has zero character. Yeah. None. Cut it the fuck loose. <sighs> yeah, what are you going to give it, man? What's your rating? I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. The whole thing about like being objective, like, okay, if, if you didn't know the original existed and you just watched this movie and how does it stand on its own? Fuck that. No, no. Fuck that. I'm the not, original no, does I'm, exist. I'm not doing that for this. Yeah. I would probably do that for other ones, but it's too ingrained in me. Roadhouse original is, is ground zero for awesome. I'm going two on this because you're gonna call yourself Roadhouse, you better reimagine it in a way that's just as fun as the original, and this did absolutely none of it. That's not even counting 
how shitty the filmmaking aspect oh my of it God. was. Yeah, just like from with a shaky, technique standpoint. weird, shaky camera shots for no reason, yeah, like these, janky, janky yeah. dolly moves or what, like whatever yeah. it was. It was just not well made. It was poorly written. No, I I'm right there with you, man. I gave this a, a two out of ten as well. Fuck this movie. This movie was a miserable experience. Yeah. I just wanted it to end. And on the other scale, on the woke side of it. Right, on the rainbow side of things. Yeah, I mean, okay, there's a couple of things. Uh, it wasn't crazy, you know, like they didn't really push anything that much. I know whenever we don't give things a lower score, we always say, oh, it's not really shoving things down your throat. But, I mean... This movie really doesn't, though. It doesn't. Well, I mean, they like the 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 main bar owner. They had to change that to a, a black female. Okay. Yeah, whatever. But like, that was one of the things that I was like, okay, whatever. It, it it's, wasn't. It's, a, it's yeah. more so like how Dalton and the doctor's like relationship sure. is yeah. portrayed. Well, just how men and women react. To yeah, each it's other like it's movie. like like men and women the way Hollywood treats them now. Yeah. That's present in this. It's also just how movies are treat men now. Like I was saying earlier. There's no such thing as like the stoic male anymore. Being stoic is like bottling up uh, right. they all the feelings They only and make all that. female characters stoic now. Exactly. So if you're a male <laughs> character, that's what was part of what made Patrick Swayze have so much charisma, is that stoicism, and that's just not present yeah, at and all she, in this and, performance. Yeah, and the doc is attracted to it. Exactly. That's why and she likes it. He plays him. it cool. He plays it cool. Yes. And of course, he nails her. <laughs> of course. I mean, you know. so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to go above a one. Yeah, I would say a one as well. Yeah, because it's not overt. It's just like the, the way modern shit is now. Really, that's what this, this it all comes back to. This movie is just symptomatic of modern Hollywood in terms of how they do remakes, zero creativity. Adding CGI where there's no need yeah. to add it. Yeah, just it's like bloat in it. Yeah. But it's just very incompetent, weird-paced, <sighs> shitty storytelling. Yeah. That is modern-day filmmaking. Fuck this movie. Piece of shit. <laughs>